everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film for you this holiday Christmas party inspired makeup look. I just don't think it's a Christmas party without a red lip, am I right? I don't know. So yeah, if you guys want to watch and see how I got this like gold glittery eye with some red lips, then just keep on watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. All right, to start this video off, I have my foundation done and my eyebrows, and we are going to move on and start on the eyes. To start off this makeup look, I'm just going to apply a base, and the base that I love and use all the time is Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So yeah, just going to put that all over my eyelid and then blend it out with my finger. So the first color we're going to be applying to our eyes is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. I just love this as a transition shade. It's overall my favorite. I'm just going to be adding that into my crease with a big fluffy brush and then make sure I really blend it out so it looks nice and soft. Then the next color I'm going in with is Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach. Again, I'm just gonna add this in with a little more precise of a blending brush just to get it more dark right in the crease, but it's still a, such a light color that it's just going to allow you to gradually add depth into this like darker cut crease type of look. And you wanna make sure this is nicely blended out so it all like fades into the transition color really nicely. going in with a mixture of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and this blackish color from the Ipsy NYX Quad that I got in an Ipsy bag. And I'm just using a pencil brush to apply this really precisely. Um, I have a little bit of hooded eye, so I like to apply this just a little bit above my crease so that it will show. So I'm just doing a line kind of on the outer half and it looks messy now, but then after you do that, you're gonna go in with a blending brush and blend it out. Try to not blend downward at all, just upward. We wanna kind of try to keep the lid part as clean as possible. So next I'm going in with ColourPop's Super Shock Eyeshadow in Get Lucky. Now, unfortunately for me, I was terrible at filming me putting this on and most of the clips I'm off camera, but I just used an eyeshadow brush and I actually wet the eyeshadow just a little bit and packed it on and tried to do a very precise line so that I was able to keep that cut crease. Then I went back in with a flat liner brush with the same two colors before, the Cocoa Bear and the a NYX color and I did that right at the line to make it very dark right where that cut crease was and then I took a pencil brush and used the pencil brush to line it like to um, blend it out but keep that darkness right there and that line super precise so that you had that really nice clean cut crease. Then if you like it like that, you could just leave it like that. Or if you wanna make it a little more festive, add some a little bit of bling bling, you can go in with the glitter. So what I'm using is ELF's glitter primer, just tapping that onto my finger, or putting it on my finger, and then tapping onto the center of my lid, and then blending it out. And then going in with NYX's glitter, I believe this is just called gold, I don't know. It's in like that little container. And again, focusing it on the center of the lid, and then blending the glitter out. Once I've applied the glitter, and I kinda like how it looks, I'm just going with a pointed crease brush and gently just trying to dust whatever excess glitter kind of flew into my crease out of my crease. I know this can be the hardest part about working with glitter is keeping the glitter from going everywhere you don't want it. So after that is all done, I'm gonna go in with my Dolly Wink eyeliner and I'm not doing a wing or anything. I'm literally just lining my eyelashes so that when we apply the false lashes, you can't really see the band. Plus it makes your eyelashes look a little bit thicker in my opinion. So then I don't have a clip of the concealer that I use, but it's just the Maybelline concealer in the color light. And I'm just putting that under my eyes to clean up whatever, you know, and make sure I'm covering those bags. 
So yeah, just putting those under my eyes, then I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender and then setting it with whatever powder you see fit. I'm just using some CoverGirl powder in like, I don't know, ivory I believe is the color. But whatever color, whatever powder you like will do. I'm just making sure it's not gonna crease and look all crackly. So next I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Dirty Martini. I swear I'm not sponsored by them. I just love their eyeshadows and I just, own a lot of them <laughs> but I'm going to be using just a flat liner brush this is just like the same kind that I was using before to cut the crease more and packing this on all the way but leaving the inner corner blank I actually didn't do a highlight in this look I just realized that whoops I did not mean to do that but yeah I'm gonna be packing that all in the lower lash line and then I just took a pencil brush or a blending brush of any sort and I think I flipped between two different kinds and blended it out with Coco Bear just to kind of bring a little bit of that warmth back down and then so it wasn't just like a stark So then I'm just using line. this black eyeliner from Tubi Colors. This is something they were nice enough to send me and it is waterproof and I love it. It is so creamy and goes on so black on the waterline. I've just been loving it to tight line and do my waterline. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my waterline, then I'm going to tight line and then I'm actually going to put on my false lashes, which I do that off camera. But the false lashes that I use are just the Demi Wispies by Ardell. I love them. They're just my favorite. So now that my lashes are off, I'm just going to quickly curl them, which I know is just everyone's preference. Some people, I don't know. I just like to curl them after I have my lashes on so they kind of blend together. And then I'm going to go in with this mascara that I have been loving lately. I think it might be my new favorite mascara, which sucks because it's high end. Um, but I got it in my Ipsy. It's a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now, this isn't going to be for someone who likes like super thick, clumpy lashes, I don't think, because it comes on very natural and you have to add on a lot of coats to get it like thicker, which is why I love it though with false eyelashes because it still keeps your false eyelashes looking like wispy and not so like clumpy. Like, not too dramatic. So, just ignore the black dots under my one eye. I just had to wait for it to dry before I could wipe it off and flake it off with a Q-tip. But right now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer. I've not mentioned it so many times, but it is Tarte's Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I'm just using this to warm up my face. So just kind of adding it on my cheeks, kind of in the hollows, but not really contouring. And then forehead and chin and all that jazz. And then for actual contour, I am going in with Makeup Geeks Barcelona Beach, which is that second color we used on the eyelids. I use it all the time. Oh yeah, I contoured my no nose at some point and I didn't film it. So if you notice my nose is contoured now, that is why. Sorry, just realized I should mention that. But yeah, so I'm just putting this into the hollow of my cheeks. I really start close to my ear and just put it on, put it on, put it on, and then slowly start making those lines like like the brush strokes longer and longer so it blends and blends and blends but it starts right at my ear because that's where I want it to be darkest because that's like should be where most of the shadowing falls for my understanding from what the beauty gurus tell me <laughs> and then for blush I'm going into this park park tart <laughs> tart <laughs> Sorry, dark blush palette and I'm going into that like darker, dustier, rosy, plummy color because I thought that's just so fitting. I don't know, it just screamed like cold season to me. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm putting that at the back of my cheeks first and then whatever is left on it, that's what I bring onto the front of my cheeks. So like back is where most of the product lies just like kind of a contouring and then bringing it forward just a little bit so it's just a little pop of color on my cheeks then i am going to be going in with this maybelline master highlight because i just am loving glowy skin right now and don't mind how broken up and beat up mine looks Caden got into it and thought he would do his own makeup i guess and kind of beat it up so i'm taking like a like a dual fiber brush and just tapping it in because i don't want this to be like as extreme as it was in like my first vlogmas 
videos where I had like extreme highlight on my face, I want this to be a little more subtle. So just taking a tap of it and then putting it onto my cheeks to kind of give me more of that glow over top but not adding too much. Then I'm going in with my highlight, which I'm going in with an extreme highlight because it is the holiday season and I do want that highlight though, you know. So this is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and just using a big fan brush and adding it to the highest points of my face, which are my cheekbones, just above like my eyebrows kind of, uh, yeah. And then my lip and my chin. And then I am going in with a lip liner because we're starting on the lips. This is the end of it, guys. We're getting to the end. We're moving on. And I am just lining my lips in this red lip liner. I honestly don't know which one it is. It's like the only one I own, sadly. And it's not even the same color as the lipstick that I'm wearing. So it didn't work out as well as planned, but it's better than nothing. And I'm just over lining my lips slightly, but you can't really see anyways because I'm terrible at getting my lips on camera. What is this? And then I am going in with the red lip, the classic, iconic Christmas red lip. And this is Maybelline's Siren in Scarlet. It's just like one of my favorites. It's, I believe it's like a matte formulation, but it's not drying at all. And it's just the most beautiful like brick red, Christmas red gorgeousness. And I like, how am I, I'm just like off camera doing this. That's awesome, Michelle. You're great at applying lipstick for the camera. And yeah, that is the completed look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you love the red lip and the glittery, twinkling eyes as much as I do. It's just looks, it screams Christmas to me. So yeah, that is it for this festive holiday look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not my typical videos. Most of my videos are mommy videos, but I do love to throw in the occasional beauty video and what better time than the Christmas season when it's all about that Christmas party makeup. What am I doing with my hands? I'm not sure. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up uh, just so I know and I continue to make beauty videos in the future. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe because I am doing Vlogmas and, well, my version of Vlogmas. And I'm putting out five videos a week, Monday through Friday. And if you haven't already, please check out my last video where I took these two munchkins to go see Santa Claus. And it was actually my very first vlog that I have ever filmed. Other than that, I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. I have a little copycat here. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye? bye, -bye. bye.